Adewa Youth Vanguard have issued a strong warning to the indigenous people of Biafra, the Ohanese Indigos, and their real fathers. This was contained in a statement issued by the BOT chairman of the association, Abubakar Ismail Kankara. Adewa Youth Vanguard noted the incident with regrets and was shocked to receive the sad news. Reliable web hosting in Nigeria by Domain King. The recent attack on Hausa community that leads to the burning of two mosques at Unsuka local government areas of Indugu State is unacceptable. And those behind the criminal act must be brought to justice as a matter of urgency. We are aware about the injustice, discrimination, and the humanizing of our people and all that they face in the southern part of Nigeria. And this time, we come to defend our people with all forces. Although, Mazi Namdekano must be responsible for this act because this is coming days after his interview with Dele Momodu. We are calling the leadership of the Ohanese in Digo, the Enugu state government, and the IPOP to compensate victims of Unsuka attacks, rebuild all burnt and vandalized structures and properties, tender apologies and promise to protect our people against future happening. Failure to comply with the stated conditions will result that your people will be sent back home. We are giving the Igbos in the north from the 3rd to 24th of November 2020 to vacate the north honorably. Our decision is final and no room for dialogue. Until our people get justice as requested, let me remind you, the Igbos operate businesses in the north with freedom and ease, but houses never enjoy such in both the southeast and the south south. We know the Igbos supply highly sophisticated weapons to the north as many of them have been arrested by men of the Nigerian police and the army. The Igbos supply highly intoxicated drugs to the north. Diverting our children from their cultural orientation. We are saying enough of all these and we mean what we are saying. Allow our people to win shops in all markets. Allow our people to buy and build houses of their dream in your states or else we will practice what you have done. History will never forgive me if I allow such to happen to our people without me defending the armless or defending the masses of the north struggling for a means of living in a part of Nigeria. I will also use this last period to warn Namdekano not to ever mention North Central for from any of his cheap comments again. The North is the North, and we stand as one family united. IPOP should be totally eliminated by the Nigerian government because they are threats to the national peace and unity. 
For reference to this, we stand to be one, and we pray Nigeria lasts more than her enemies. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Northern uh, Arewa Youth Vanguard has now said that the Igbos should either protect Northerners or vacate the North. This is an order from the leader or the president of the Arewa Youth Vanguard named Abubakar Ismail Kang Kankara. Well, it remains to be seen. He is claiming that there are recent attacks on mocks and uh, the houses in Enugu. Well, if this is true, then uh, it stands condemnable. But at the same time, you know, people should not be making statements that are uh, that could incite violence. The statement that this uh, Iowa Youth Vanguard BOT chairman has said, or has made rather, is capable of uh, causing inciting violence as it is. But the challenge we have in this part of the world is that nobody is raising an alarm over what this man has said. If it were to be somebody from the East, like Nam the Kano or the West, like Femi Fanikadi or any other person, you know, almost all the Northern uh, persons, even some of the Southern uh, elites or people would have raised alarm and have mentioned this particular issue. They will have called for his arrest or their arrest. They will have called for them to be prosecuted and all that. But look at the damning, inciting uh, words or statements that the Arewa Youth Vanguard uh, chairman has made. It is sad that no security agency has deemed it fit to call him for or invite him for questioning or raise any concern about it. So these are some of the issues that we face in this part of the world. Some part of the some some region are well treated, while some are not treated the same way other regions are treated. There are evidences all over the place for everyone to see. Recently, there was a statement that was credited to Nam Dekano, supposedly an audio, where it was said that he said that they should burn down police stations, kill army, kill policemen. And a lot of people attributed it to what led to the massacre, the killing in Obibo, where six soldiers, four policemen were said to have been killed. And eventually, it led to chaos, which eventually led to the governor imposing a 24 hours curfew in that particular area in the state. It led to the further uh, enforcement of the prescription of IPOB in River State and so many condemning uh, statements were made, accusations were made. But now look at what this man is saying. Is it because he's a northerner? Is he because he's from the north? Statements like this should stand condemned. Statements like this should, should not be made. And if made or when made, the author should be invited for questioning and if found guilty, prosecuted. Because such statements are inciting and stand as a threat to national security. Well, be that as it were, guys, we hope that the government and the necessary agencies or relevant authorities can do the needful to ensure that peace and unity is not trampled upon by any person. And such statements does not occur next time it is what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were please drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories
Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.